Leonard wrote to me and he said that his cook had got in a tough and she just left. And she said, he said, there's a week to go. Can you possibly come down and help me? Well, I thought, gracious, I've never cooked for a, a group of young boys. I myself, Bobby Pike. And one summer, my folks let me go down and visit Uncle Leonard and Aunt Marjorie, and they were out Balboa, and it was like fairyland to me because I had never been by water or sailboats or anything fancy that California has. <laughs> and I'm still not used to that kind of... I learned how to swim down there. But I do remember that Aunt Marjorie was a marvelous cook. We always had wonderful meals. And Uncle Leonard was a, quite a disciplinarian. After lunch, every day, we all of us, no matter what age we were, you kids too, would all lay down and rest. And we didn't have to go to sleep, we just needed to rest. And they just had a lot of interesting things for us to do down there. I will always remember my summer with my Uncle Leonard at Balboa. Margaret Steinley. Okay, and then tell us something. Well, I remember Max went down there when I was going with him. Why He went down to visit his folks, and, and he went down to Balboa and, and took pictures of, of uh, the boat that she was in. And he rode in a boat, and uh, somehow or other he fell out. And you just threw him a rope and, and become, had pictures with you pulling him in. Towed him behind the boat <laughs> after he fell out. Oh, that's great. About the Bel Belboa camp, I remember one day when we was in, in uh, Beverly Hills High School, and Leonard asked me if I'd take a group of children, or boys, down to Belboa. And I said I would, and I remember one of the boys' fathers coming to me, he said, now, uh, young Stimey, are you a good driver? Will these boys be safe? And I said, absolutely, they'll be as safe as a man can be. And he said, oh, thank you. And he let me take his kids down to Belboa, and I always remember that. I remember the great time we had at Belboa Camp. One time we took out one of the boats, and the boats tipped over, and I don't think I ever tell, told Leonard that we tipped over in his boat. Bye-bye. <laughs> remember the starboard the skipper had? Well, he taught us how to sail that starboat. And I remember one time going down the bay and when there was a nice spanking wind, and that thing was heeling over, and we all had to sit on one side to keep it from going over and to keep it to go faster. And it was there that I learned the difference between the uh, port side and the starboard side and a, and a uh, center board and a keel and the bow and the stern. And uh, I learned also at camp that it was really no great honor to be elected captain of the head. I recall vividly the first night that we were at the camp. There were several boys there, and I think that the anticipating the possibility that the boys might get uh, homesick that night, Skipper had a project for each of us, one each of us to complete. It was a uh, sailor's duffel bag or ditty bag made out of canvas and he uh, had the information the, the material there and the instructions there and he guided us each one of us in sewing up uh, in sealing sh ship manner a ditty bag i still have this good canvas bag it was made out of real good material and we use it when we go on trips for our laundry bag and every time i use it on a trip i have some fond memories of skipper the summer of 1941 at Sail Hole Balboa Camp. If I remember correctly, I taught archery and handicraft and swimming, in addition to having a room full of boys to look after as my charges. I don't know why it sticks in my mind, but I recall that uh, sometime during the camp, I think it was before camp started actually, that uh, we were painting boats, rowboats, and we were painting them a dark navy blue and your mother Marjorie uh, was trying to get the paint off of her hands and it was then that she made the statement that blue was the most difficult color to remove from your hands and from the paint brushes even more difficult than red or black now I don't know why that sticks in my mind but I remember Marjorie helping to paint the boats and that uh, we had a difficult time cleaning up the brushes and cleaning off our hands one event that uh, stands out in my mind is a swimming deal when we went across the 
uh, to the island out to the ocean where the waves were coming in and, and had an afternoon there playing in the waves. That sticks in my mind quite vividly too. But most of all, the sailing is uh, what we enjoyed the most at Sail Hole Balboa Boys Camp with Skipper Steinle in 1941. This is Ernie Steinle signing off. record this day 1939 record number one the day world war ii began in europe
recorded five weeks before the motion picture Wizard of Oz was released. Glenn Miller's recording of Over the Rainbow from that film featuring Ray Eberle was record number one this day, 1939. 1940, Franklin D. Roosevelt was president of the United States and he had just decided to run for an unprecedented third term. A week earlier, Wendell Wilkie had accepted the Republican nomination to run against Roosevelt. Europe was at war this day, 1940. Italy had joined forces with Germany two months earlier. Paris was occupied. The Battle of Britain was raging with massive Luftwaffe attacks on English towns. And in the United States, there was a new record in the record stores telling us there was, even in Richmond, a rumpus. On this day, 1940, that record was just one month old. Duke Ellington's orchestra, Rumpus in Richmond, he called it. A Cootie Williams, a scathing trumpet solo, Barney Begard on clarinet. This was record number eight on the charts.
The Cats and the Fiddle had a new record to add to their collection. It was called Hepcat's Holiday. Take your gal and grab your hat. We're gonna jump to the day. Just a bug get to and fro on the Hepcat's Holiday. Down to jump in left and right. Swing it to stay. Hop and skip it. What a sight on the Hepcat's Holiday. Boogie Woogie and Susie Q. The Black Brook Booty and the Hepcat too. Turn around and truck on down. We jump the whole day through. Been swinging cats are high, take the beat and get it. You can swing it if you try on a hip cat's holiday. La da 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 da